Welcome to Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI. Each week we talk to different experts and professionals on a wide range of subjects to give you tips and advice on living a happy and healthier life no matter what age you may be. This week on Aging Gracefully, we talk to Alicia Curry, Dr. Russell Sampson, and Dr. Sadia Faruqi. Author Alicia Curry returns this week to talk about bad habits and how to avoid them. That's this is going to be one. a tough one. We all have those, those bad habits. I know. We don't necessarily want to talk about them, but we're going to do that. Today. And some of them are not so bad, but some of them can age you prematurely. And that's what this, this whole segment is about, okay. right? How to avoid things that prematurely age you. So the reason you wrote this wonderful book is because of your own experiences. It's definitely based on my own experiences. I'm not here preaching to anyone or telling them what they should or should not do. Mm -hmm. I'm just offering what I have done because people have asked me what right, I have done. Because we want to look like you. <laughs> right. So people have asked me what I've done and these what's in the book is it's just been what I have chosen to do in my life. Okay, so there's some habits that you've chosen not to participate yes, in. Yes, <laughs> there okay. are some habits. How, how do you go about that? Okay, well. Where do you start? For me, smoking was something that I never really uh, enjoyed being mm -hmm. around smoke and you know, so it's just something that I chose not to participate in. Mm -hmm. And while I was writing this book and doing the research on you know, what are some of the causes, what are some of the damaging effects, I should say, on your age of smoking, you know, I discovered that not only does it restrict blood flow and blood vessels, that will cause premature wrinkling, skin sagging, mm -hmm. um, not to mention the damage to your internal org organs mm -hmm. because it starts internally and it shows up externally. Exactly. So there are so many things that can happen. The wrinkles around your mouth become more pronounced. Mm -hmm. um, your skin just becomes sallow. It damages your teeth uh, so you don't have nice white skin a nice white smile. We mm -hmm. talked about smiling mm -hmm. earlier right. in a couple of the segments. And so, you know, kind of those effects, I've been able to avoid some of those by not yeah. smoking yeah. throughout my life. And and I think, you know, there's there's a people out there that I know personally that have gradually weaned themselves. So it's right. it's not necessarily, you know, if you if you've dealt with trying to quit smoking, uh, it's not something that everybody can just cold turkey. Cold does. turkey, right. But it's again, a, baby it's a challenge. steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. But you know, you want to preserve the collagen in your mm -hmm, skin, mm -hmm. and that really definitely weakens that collagen in your skin. And uh, as you age, you know, sometimes it creates those dark circles and those heavy bags yeah. under your eyes, mm -hmm. and that's all from smoking. Okay. So those can be reversed. I know that if you stop smoking, a lot of you know, those lot things of can go away, and especially if you start using things that help rebuild the collagen, yep. that will help you too. Okay. So one of the other um, taboos is <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, I know. I guess. So many people are like, no, don't take away my alcohol. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> I know, but it's again, it's something I've chosen not to participate in mm -hmm. because I just didn't really like the taste and I didn't like the effects, how it made me feel. You're so fortunate. I know, I just didn't mm -hmm. really like it. So uh, it's just nothing that I Mm -hmm. I did throughout my life yeah. and so the same thing with smoking alcohol restricts blood flow so it reduces that collagen it it promotes sagging of the skin mm -hmm. it promotes um, loosening of the elasticity of the skin it also um, certain types of alcoholic beverages actually create rosacea in the skin because those blood vessels not only are they restricted then they burst. Do you know which ones those are? I like whiskey. Okay. <laughs> it's very bad. All right. Uh, and and it can cause disfiguration. You know, sometimes people yeah. get that disfigured nose mm -hmm. from over drinking. It's because right. of you know, too much alcohol. And it affects and your it liver, affects your li kidneys, Again, the internal yes. organs get damaged very, and yeah. that, that affects your age. Yeah. When your internal organs don't work or function mm -hmm. properly, it affects how it shows up on the outside mm -hmm. as okay. well. So moderation. Moderation. And as clean as you and can drink. Yeah. You know? And detox yourself every now and then. Yeah. You know, choose to take a week off and just do and a detox and cleanse and see how you feel. It's amazing. Yeah. It, it is. 
I, I have done that. I'm not that telling for, you to take it all away no, from you because no, there no. are studies like wine. You know, some people drink red wine and they that um, helps with their heart. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not telling you. I'm just saying this is what I've chosen not right, to do. Right. And again, there are some pure forms. Like you know, personally, I drink vodka. Mm -hmm. There are ones that have been distilled more than others. So you want to look for the cleanest types of alcohol and red wines. If there's right. sulfites in it, that's not good for you, right. you know? So again, moderation. Moderation, and, moderation. And look at the labels, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. How about um, prescription drugs? So that's another thing too, that, right? that affects you as well. It, again, internally and externally. It shows up externally. Mm -hmm. um, narcotics, any kind of drug use also, it damages the, the collagen, it damages those blood mm -hmm. vessels, it creates uh, problems with your dent, you know, your dental, um, not just the hygiene, but also, you know, tooth decay and, right. and um, discolored teeth. And yeah. so there's a host of things that show up that prematurely age you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen women, even men, who are in their 20s and they look like they're in their 60s or 70s because of prolific drug use. Right. You right. know, because their skin gets sallow and gets saggy. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you want to avoid okay. anything like that if you want to continue to look younger. All right, solutions. Solutions, well, we talked about detoxing. Right. You know, de doing um, a gentle cleanse. Mm -hmm. uh, you, there are so many cleanses out there. I, I will put up on my website a 72-hour cleanse that you can do in three days, 72 hours. That's anybody not can too do bad. that. Yeah, anybody can, can, do can, that. can do a 72-hour cleanse just to, to make sure that you're detoxifying your body. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to hydrate. You want to hydrate as much as possible okay. so that you know, you're, you're putting back in what that's stripping out. Okay. And then we talked about rebuilding things that can help rebuild collagen in your skin. So okay. you can go back to that tape and look and right. see okay. the things well, that can it. help rebuild your and collagen. And again, everything's in your book yes. along with wonderful links there are links more to information. more videos and more information in okay. the book. Okay, all right. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Don't <Alicia>. beat me <laughs> up. <laughs> no, we won't. We love you. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. You're welcome. Please stay tuned. Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI will return after a short break.